Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, billions of all ages, what's poppin'? Animated establishment, Townsy bringing y'all my live reaction to My Hero Academia, Boku no Hero Academia, chapter number 242. Last chapter was crispy. It low-key felt like a slice of life chapter, but it was actually a learning chapter. They gotta learn how to deal with the media, the press. That's actually real. I like that. I like how much realism they actually bring in, like, to here. Like, a lot of pop culture. I don't, I wouldn't say interviewing and interviews are pop culture. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's realistically, and, and, and it kind of is. So, they, they bring a lot of pop culture to my hero. I think that's why a lot of people relate to it so much. Because it's like, damn, like, they do a lot of us-ass things in here. And then, of course, that's why the West likes it, because all the heroes and types, of course, it's based off the West type heroes and stuff like that. But that's why it's resonant. I love, I, I love My Hero for that shit. My Hero's been going hard for the last few chapters, in my opinion. Yes, last, last chapter wasn't the, the, the five, six, seven chapters before that, but it was still Heat and Fuego. It still kept it pushing. And I'm glad it's still keeping it pushing. It's, it, it's not really slowed all the way down. It slowed down a little bit because the action stopped. But story-wise, all of these elements, it hasn't slowed down. So I love that. Can't wait to get up in this chapter. That chapter was funny as hell. And boy, Bakugo was mad as hell. They cut this nigga in every interview he had because he was trash. Not only that, I need to, oh man, I need to know who about to do these internships and with who. Yeah, obviously, y'all know me. I talk to everybody in the comments. That's why I always say leave your theories. Leave your thoughts. Because I talk to everybody in that mug. But, you know what I'm saying? I was talking to people in the comments. Who y'all thinking that uh, 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 they might be interning with Deku? You know what I mean? His options are Kamari Woods. You know what I'm saying? He got the, you know what I'm saying? He got the uh, extensions and shit like that. Maruko, Miss Milky, Miss Big Milky, okay? She got the leg exercise. You know what I'm saying? She got the legs on point, shit like that. Bakugo, I would like to see your boy at least ask about best demons like me and Miss Twitch was talking about. Uh, 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 Endeavor. He could maybe endeavor, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm getting a little too excited. I'm getting a little too excited ahead of myself. It's time. Getting to this chapter, I'm impatient. It's time. You see all the teachers, they sitting around the table. What's the meaning of this? Why are the internships starting again so suddenly? Yeah, yeah, it's literally the same year. Just down the line, it's just it's the same year. He raised his head and said, I'm pretty sure we have more chairs. <laughs> it's nice and warm over here, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> It said, as the students demonstrate their growth, Hero Society is changing as well. But, just why are the internships starting again? And then Nezu said, previously our agreement with the other Hero agencies was to conduct internships on an on-demand basis. However, this time around, we received a direct request from the Public Safety Commission to conduct practical field training for all Hero Department students. They said, a request? You mean they're telling us to force them to do internships? He said, yeah. And then Midnight's like, but this... Aren't they basically saying they don't have enough manpower despite having more heroes than ever? Yes! This is what I have been saying! Their real life dead ass about to be relying on kids. The next arc, when we get everybody's going to be crazy. Because they said, let me go back, let me reread that. Because if I'm not tripping, that bitch definitely just said... However, this time around, we've received a direct request from the Public Safety Commission, that means the public, to do conduct practical field training for all Hero Department students. Every fucking student is going to be a part of this. All of them, not just Class A. I thought it was just Class A last time. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But if it's, it's all of them, I was saying I want to see some Class 1B shit too. I need to. I need to see my cousin Tattoo, 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 Tattoo hit a motherfucking Metal Unbreakable on that ass, dog. I need that. Ooh, I need that. Come on. But if y'all couldn't tell, Tattoo, Tattoo is one of my favorite characters. <laughs> That's my dog. In response to the recent growth of large-scale villain organizations, we'd like students to gain experience. No doubt something else must have happened in Dekia City. Yeah, the League of Villains must be involved. But for some reason, they're wording it very vaguely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So they catching on. They doing, you know what I'm saying? You know Skeptic there messing with the news outlets and shit like that. Making sure they know. It's 20 mysterious individuals that destroyed Dekia City. Not the League of Villains and the MLA. 
just 20 unique individuals, man. And then homeboy here like, nah, I don't believe it. Nah. <laughs> My dude said, I don't, nah, not at all. I refuse to believe it. And then Nezu said, it seems that the Public Safety Commission has reason to suspect some kind of imminent danger. But as Kayama-kun said, they're being vague, most likely because they want to hide the fact that they know this. The internships themselves feel like some sort of message. And then Aizawa said, if that's the case, then it makes sense that they couldn't tell us directly. Something's not right. If it's the first time something like this has happened. And then Nezu says, in any case, preparing for danger is the norm for us. Let's start by reaching out to some of the top heroes. After the meeting, please go inform the students that they have some winter break homework. Also, Aizawa-kun, on the topic of Public Safety Commission, the program I was talking to you about earlier has, in a few days earlier, it's been a four months since the students moved into the dorms. None have exhibited suspicious activity. In that case, we can conclude that there is no spy from the League of Villains among them. Well, the only that continues to be the case when the League makes their move. Okay, so Nezu is talking to All Might on a video chat. He said, all of my students have the true heart of a hero. He says, yes, I know. What? Bro, Nezu looking intense. I can't wait to see, like, Nezu in action action, dog. Like, if we get to see homie in action action, my god, that's gonna be crazy. And then All Might said, by the way, are you gonna be coming back today? He said, no, nah, I'm pretty, oh, no, no, this is not All Might's side. So that was Nezu saying that. He said, I'm gonna be pretty busy all day. Did something happen to young Midoriya? He said, did you forget what day it is by any chance? Merry Cr Hey, oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> whole chapter's called Be Merry. Christmas. Yo, it's Christmas. Big Christmas in this mug. My dude, Jesus, born today. You see everybody, Merry Christmas, nigga. The first thing I see is Bakugo literally just walking away. Bakugo's literally walking away. Look at Tokoyami in his hat. <laughs> he got as much bumps as my shit. <laughs> Look at everybody doing that motherfucking thing. Happy as shit. Bakugo, nothing. He ain't got no spiritual shit. Nothing. He ain't got on no hat. That boy, hands in pockets, I'm gone. <laughs> Telling us to do internships on such short notice? I bet we the busiest freshman in UA history. <laughs> you two are going back to Ryuku, right? He said, I guess so. What about you, Jiro-chan? Ooh, they gonna talk about it this time? Sue's so like, Momo-chan, would you like to sit? You've been standing this whole time. She said, nah, I'm good. He said, Christmas Eve is the best. Well, what do you do, Midoriya-kun, since not I is agencies? Wait, where's he gonna go? Like, Santa Peter took over the agency, right? You could totally meet up with him again. He's like, I, I thought that as well, but... And he said, ah, sorry, Midoriya-kun. I'm ashamed to say we're kind of swamped right now. Deku-kun, it's been a while. Sir used to do everything himself, so taking over the agency has been a struggle. Man, and then Gran Torino said he couldn't take me in either, so I'm kind of just in limbo right now. He's like, I see. And, and then they still talking while Baku goes yelling in the background, since this round of internships is a mandatory assignment, rather than a voluntary exercise, the school said they'd find a place for me, but who is this that Baku goes yelling at? <laughs> He's like, what are you sneaking around for? He's like, huh? No idea what you're talking about. Oh, okay, that was Kaminari. Like, Bakugo, you going back to best genius? He's like, huh? I don't know. <laughs> he said, I don't know. He, he, oh, he thinks about the uh, the, uh, the whereabouts being unknown. He's like, I don't know. At least he didn't outright say, no, fuck that nigga. He, I don't know. Like I said, I hope, I want to see more of their dynamic. Number three, your boy was number three, four hero at the time, whatever. Best genius was out here. As, as far as I'm, best genius, I'm, I wanted to see more from this dude. I heard he been going crazy in, uh, 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 vigilantes. I don't want to see more from this dude. We get back to, like, a memory, I think. Bakugo, you don't have a hero name? He's like, all the ones I came up with got rejected. He's like, oh, and what were those names? King Explosion Murder, Lord Explosion Murder, Explosion Murder. <laughs> Are you seriously a high school student? This man still doing his head. This nigga's in string strings, bro. You can't break out. <laughs> and he says, a name is a wish. It is what you want to be and what you ought to be. You have yet to look outwards. I would like to show you the outside world. Once you've become a second year and receive your provisional license, come back here. And when that time comes, I'll have you tell me your hero name once again. Yo! I need it. I need it. I need it. No, bro. Can't nothing happen to my dude, best genius. I think fucking uh, Hawks, he was playing. I think, you know what I'm saying? He was trying to play the League of Villains. I think him and Best Genius got a plan. That's my head cannon until we learn otherwise. It's my fucking head cannon, okay? And Bakugo, I wanna know what his, 
I need to know what his hero name gonna be. It could be like explosion, bro. Like like straight up explosion or some shit like that. Be raw because he explodes with everything. His emotion explodes. He explodes, bro. Explosion? That'd be crazy. That go. I would like that. And then Kirishima said, Ah, well, you had lots of options before, right? Doing a sports festival. I'm sure you can go to any place you want it. He's like, at this point, I really don't feel like learning from some nameless rando. So I. I he might, man, look, as far as I'm concerned, he might go to Endeavor, bro. He might go to Endeavor. I need that. I need that, too. If it's not Genius, Endeavor, I need that. You see Shoto just dot, dot, dot. He the Katakuri dots on the ass. You see Bob go yelling in the background. Stop making me put that on. He's like, come on, succumb to the peer pressure. You can't tell somebody to succumb to some peer pressure. That's crazy. And fucking, what, why? Is, <laughs> tell this man to calm down. He said, hey, it's the holy night. How long are we going to sit around talking about school? That's an interesting point you made there. <laughs> and then he comes out, well, Mineta has a point. Let's just enjoy the food. Sugar Man can cook too. Bro came through with the chicken on deck. Ooh, went a little crazy on their ass. Sorry, we're a little late. Have y'all all already started? Is this the class 1B, homie? Class, no. <gasps> Yo, homegirl, Aaron is my little cousin. Aaron, little homegirl. Ah, trick or treat? <laughs> Oh man, damn, bro, she's like seven, eight, and that's the big disconnect, that's like a fat ass disconnect, they're like overhaul, bro, she didn't even, she barely even knows about holidays, she don't like dip for a child to mix up Christmas and Halloween, that's crazy, like just, just a, like man, overhaul had her on some other shit, bro, that's crazy, he said nah, you got it mixed up. It's Santa Eri-chan. Aw, oh, so cute. Looks so good on you. Is Toga the Senpai here too? I told him we'd be here, but she said, Demon's out. Demon's in. What is she talking about? He's celebrating with his classmates. Aw, so now go on. Have some fun. And then she, okay, so he, a, a, Deku's looking at the horn and shit. It's like, is it cracked at the bottom? Or is it just like regular horn? Or am I chipping? I might be chipping. Her horn's gotten bigger again. He said, yeah. I painted these eggs. And she's like, that's what <laughs> Damn, bro, it's a big disconnect. She said she painted some. But, like, she tried, though. She tried, though. Hey, young Aerie, she tried, though. Yo, they passing the months and shit like that. And my hero, damn, it's Christmas now, god damn. She's much more optimistic now. She's really taking your words to heart. That's good, man. I'm glad they all singing and shit. I'm, like, silent nighting, la 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 la's and shit. They Christmasing, dog. They Christmasing. It's fucking fire. Everybody here. Hey, man. David got your boy Bakugo. He's in a hat. You know what I'm saying? He in the th getting some chicken. You know what I'm saying? Bakugo, ch hey, man. Bakugos came a little way, man. Normal Bakugo would be in his room chilling, saying, fuck y'all. But he out here chilling. He out here chilling with the peeps. He out here chilling with the peeps. Appreciate you, my guy. See everybody eating, having fun, opening their gifts and shit like that. Why coming already said he got a basketball. <laughs> Deku got some chips. Okay, why why is he look that guy gotta relax? They just some chips. Relax. He see oh they see it's cut mochi. He's scared. He know that category might pop out of nowhere. <laughs> oh yeah. She got an all my figure. Uh Uraka got an all my figure. I wonder who that could be from. I wonder. I wonder. Everybody else holding their presents up. Everybody else opening their shit. Baku go left. <laughs> Come on, dog. Ari got a big ass sword thing. Ari got a. She got a. Wait, hello? <laughs> Tokoyami had the sword thing. Wait, gave it to Ari? Okay. That's crazy. Deku having fun too. You look up, you see the snow and all that. That shit is nice. This shit is nice. They bashed that food in the Coke bottles, all that. You need, you, you all need any help cleaning? Midoriya. Baku go. If you got nowhere to go, you want to join me as interns of Endeavor? What was I just, what was I just talking about? What was I just, bro, what was I, oh my, God, what was I just talking about? What was I just talking about? I was, I didn't think about Deku though. Mr. Twitchy did. I didn't think about Deku going to Endeavor though. Hold up. Wait. I'm fucking with it. And then Shoto reaching out. The character development on these motherfucking students. Yes, it's not been the greatest for outside of these three. But these three, amazing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else, they've had character development. It hasn't shined as much 
but they've had it. These three, though, man, I love seeing all their character development. Deku coming in his quirk and coming into his everything. Bakugo slowly stop becoming the explosion. And then Shoto stop being a fucking shut in. You know what I'm saying? Stop being so angry at everybody in the world. He even reaching out to his friends. You know what I'm saying? He reaching out to. Can't say friends. He think of him and Bakugo as friends. So you know what I'm saying? Him and Doria, they cool. They chilling. It says an invitation better than they could have wished for. For the next issue, an illustration for the new character book and a color cover. Ooh, we getting some color. Bro, are we about to get the three amigos under Endeavor? And then the. Man, look. It's perfect setup. The three amigos under Endeavor. The villains do some type crazy type shit while everybody's on their internship. Bruh. Bruh. My hero about to start going crazy. Let all of them go under Endeavor. Let all of them go under Endeavor. It's, that shit's about to be, this shit's about to be fire. This shit's about to be, <laughs> no pun intended. This shit's about to be crazy. And then, oh man. And then, we already got next year. We know we're about to go going back to that boy, best genius, so long as he's alive. Hawks, you know what I'm saying? I, I believe he's alive. My headcanon is that he's alive. I can't see Deku saying no. Obviously, I, can, I really can't see Bakugo saying no because he said he don't want to do no no name. But it's like this is the bit, literally the best Bakugo can get. Especially since he got fire powers, maybe he'd be able to teach him a little something, something about it. But like this would give these three that bonding experience, you know what I'm saying? They, they, it's a need for that boy, it's a need for that boy. And then like, you know what I'm saying? Deku can finally go off on Endeavor because he's a trash dad and shit. <laughs> Deku can finally go off on his ass. Shit, Bakugo might go off on his ass too, because you know Bakugo be smartly going off on people, dog. Bakugo might be crazy and, cra and insane in the membrane, but like when he go off and when he write about something, he be conveying some points, points. Bakugo, I'm gonna need you to say yes, Deku. I mean, you just say yes. We know Shoto going back. I need both of the homies to say yes. It is time, man. We about to. Get, I need to see. I want to been been wanting to see more Total Rogi things. Endeavor, NG. Dobby, come on, dog. Is Dobby a total rookie? Is Geeten a total rookie? It's a need. It's a need. I like this chapter. This is definitely a slice of life chapter. It had info in it. It progressed the story. But I'm calling this. A I don't. You can't call it a slice of life chapter because shit actually happened. We got information. We got context. I still like this chapter, bro. That chapter was still clean with it. Appreciate you, Horikoshi. Came through with the heat. I still, and I, and I can't stress this enough, still hope we get to see some Class 1B things. We didn't focus on a lot of people last time on the internship, but this time I hope we get a little more focus. I want to see some Class 1B shit, and I want to see that. That would be heat. But as far as this live reaction goes, pretty much all I got for y'all this time around, so like I always say, if you like, comment, subscribe, pull up to the Twitch, pull up to the Discord, and y'all let me know.